Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Manny Pacheco here at Cinecon for Celebrating Act 2 for Forgotten Hollywood. We're here with Rob Stone, curator at the Library of Congress. Tell us about your involvement with Cinecon. You're very busy here. You brought books. You're going to make a you're going to make a presentation. Tell us about your involvement. I did. I'm going to do a program called uh, Rob Presents Vim. There was a company called Vim Comedies back in 1916. Really obscure company, and I'm into obscure comedy. So um, it's a little bit of a case study because there were a lot of companies that came and went back then. And you know, you think, well, the company was here and gone, but Oliver Hardy worked for this company. So you know. If it kept him fed and kept him in the business so that 10 years later he could meet up with Stan Laurel, then it's an important, uh, important company to look at. As far as Cinecon goes, I wrote a book some old 25, 26 years ago, and the first place I presented it at was Cinecon. So. And, you got a new, and, and you got a new book, too. I do. I have a, the new book's called Pokes and Jabs, uh, the before, during, and after the Vim Films Corporation. And it is about this obscure little company that was around for about three years, but you know, it gives, gives you a look at where the film industry was, say, 100, 120 years ago. Even though it was East Coast, it was still kind of the wild, wild west, if you know what I'm talking about. I do know exactly what you're talking about, especially as they were escaping from the East Coast, uh, from Thomas Edison and, and the gang. So, But let me ask you, you, you keep using the word obscure. Is that the right word, or is it that Cinecon also shows a lot of rare or seldom seen films, and that well, kind of separates us from other... Uh, I, I, I think a place like Cinecon is what takes a movie from obscure to known. You know, um, Cinecon has always been really good about, they'll, they'll, they'll show the, the big film, but they'll show the second tier film, the third tier film, and films that are maybe not as well known become known. Um, you know, I, where I work at, uh, we, we let films out to other places and we will get phone calls say, hey, we saw this at Cinecon, we want to show it. And it'll be a film that hadn't been seen for years and years and years. So Cinecon's really good about, you know, showing obscure films. The trick is they're not obscure after Cinecon's had them. They, be, they, they, they gain new life. Wow, that sounds interesting. Now, let me ask you one more question and we'll let you go do your show because you're going to be up on stage in a, in a moment. Your involvement with the Library of Congress, is there a relationship with the Library of Congress and Cinecon? Um, there's been a long relationship between the Library of Congress and Cinecon. We have a film loans program where we loan films to various festivals. And one of our longest standing, I can't call them clients, we can't call them partners, but what? Collaborators. Collaborators, yeah. Um, has been Cinecon. They have forever looked to um, dig into the deeper parts of, of the uh, the archive at the Library of Congress and bring out those films that deserve to be seen. You know, and maybe that's a better word than obscure. It's films that haven't been seen but that deserve to be seen. And, uh, you know, that's, that's kind of Cinecon. And, that, and, and the proof is in the pudding when you have audiences who are willing to come and fill the, 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 the seats and that, that, that means it works. Absolutely. You know, and, and the dinner conversations are, are you know, not always about the, the, the big Hollywood film. It's about that other film or you know, did you know so-and-so was in that film? I mean, it, it, it's exciting to watch some of these films and, and you see somebody who you, you knew from 20 years ago in a movie and, oh, there they are. So it's, um, Cinecon audiences are very appreciative audiences, but they're also very knowledgeable audiences. So as a cinephile, it makes it a fun place to be because you're, you're sitting amongst your own. I like that. Rob Stone, of course, is a curator at the Library of Congress. He's here at Cinecon making a presentation, has his books on hand, and I'm Manny Pacheco with Forgotten Hollywood, celebrating Act Two here at the historic American Legion Theater. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.